Hi there, and today we're doing something very exciting. We've just got in alpaca, raw alpaca fleece. And this one I'm using, to, I'm gonna use today is from Teddy. Look at Teddy, isn't he cute? He is cute. And Teddy is this lovely Teddy color. Isn't he fabulous? He's obviously got some white bits though. Um, and I'm just going to use the brown bits, the teddy bits. Uh, we're selling this, and it's raw. It smells like teddy, um, and they all smell like each other. But it's raw, so you'd, you'd need to wash it. Um, and we're going to give you um, information about how to wash it. But really, it's just putting it in a bowl, letting it soak in a bowl with, is it washing up liquid? Uh, I think it was, something possibly, like that. Something silly. Lukewarm water, letting it soak, pulling it out and letting it dry. That's all it is. Um, this, now I think you'd be paying pounds and pounds for this, but you're only going to be paying um, £2.50 and that's for 100 grams. This here, I'd say is about 40 grams at most. So you get quite a lot for your money. And also the knowledge that you're supporting local and you're supporting a local alpaca rescue place. And it's the place where we did our walk. So I'm sure after COVID, we'll be arranging more walks, won't we? You can we? just about see the picture of you and your, your alpaca behind you. Oh, yeah. what a good idea. That's me. And what was mine called? Was mine Bobby? I think it might have been Bobby. We've actually got one that's a similar colour to Bobby, um, that it's unnamed. Now, we think it's unnamed because it's Victoria's. Victoria, even though she was an alpaca, she wasn't the llama. Uh, the llama was there and he was nice, uh, but strong. But Victoria was the spitter. <laughs> you hadn't to catch your eyes or she'd spit at you. So what we're making today, I've got a little cooking uh, what do you call these? Uh, cookie a cutter, cutter. Cookie a cutter. cookie cutter, and I'm going to make gingerbread men out of alpaca, which is very very posh for Christmas decorations. And apparently, it's very easy, and it requires you to stab something hundreds of times, uh, which is what attracted me, obviously. So, do I just do? Ah! <laughs> not how to do it be very very careful <laughs> yeah i think yeah. push it together push it together like, and then stab it, it. Yeah, you don't want to have it like really loose otherwise it's oh not going to join the god fibers. this is going to take me years and years think, <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> now you at home i'm sure you will be push it together like, like that yeah so it's like binding sure, a bit better. what about wetting it i'm not sure that would well, yeah, try yeah. it. With what? Warm water or cold water? Spit. Get, get the tomatic <laughs> kettle. Uh, yeah, we should have sussed out how to do it, don't you think? And then uh, and then done it and, and made it look very easy. Uh, but this is probably what you might look like if you're an idiot and doing it the first time round. I think it's probably what people expect from you, <laughs> Mrs. Benison. <laughs> Right, so Charlene's seen a thing where they've um, they've just mixed mixed it about, put some like, water on it, yeah, like moulded it like that, and wet. like moulded it yeah. wet. Okay, that I think stabby things. I'm, I'm feeling it needs to be people who are more careful than me to do the stabby thing bit. I, I agree. Um, so do you think we should turn the video off now and do a bit more? Practice. And then say, this is what I prepared earlier. Probably, yeah. Have we got one we can buy, Charlene? 